I'm just really excited to have a space that feels as 21st century as the skills we're trying to teach our students. I think that having a world-class space is going to add to the perception and add to the validity of the kind of world-class education that we're trying to push at Da Vinci. So I think having a visual space that feels as exciting and new and fresh and cutting edge as the kinds of curriculum that we're doing in our classrooms um, is going to make, you know, it's going to make a difference. designated uh, room for dancing because we're, we're, we're dancing in the chemistry room right now. I feel like that we didn't really have that much of a high school experience when it comes to that with sports. I think at the new school we're going to have a lot of really great work areas. I think a lot of our tools and materials are just going to be a lot higher quality. And what could be improved is that uh, again just like the size of the room because it's like super small so. Um, from what it's been explained to us so far each school will have their own floor um, and certain activities can be like separate from each other but I'm really excited to have all the campuses together because it means that there's more interaction between each of the schools. Well we talked about 21st century learning um, and really I think that part of that idea is that um, as we move into the future, the way people are educated needs to reflect more closely the way people are going to be working and acting in the world. It used to be, you know, you'd go to a certain class. I'm old enough to remember that the teacher taught you a lesson and came out of a book and you learned certain facts. And that really doesn't cut it for the 21st century. In the 21st century, people need to be able to figure out problems, um, make stuff and um, and really have that sort of analytical thought process and that's really what the 21st century is about. Building is a verb and a noun, right? So building as a noun, really excited more excited about Verb the Building, the building that you've done to move the Da Vinci schools into this new campus, into this new building, and really excited about what you'll build because you have a cool new place in which to do it. That map, it's like a, tw this is like a 20th century building, right? We're grateful for it, but it's, this is old school, kind of literally and figuratively. That's new school, and to see what you'll be able to do in your new building, that's really, that's really sad. Physically being able to convene outside of your classroom in a hub where you're bringing different subjects together is going to be terribly helpful. Um, it's got a place for your community dialogue that's on your floor. Um, you'll have a music room with with recording studios, you'll have your own gym, you'll be able to swim and have weight rooms, things like that. Um, there's lots of glass, so there's lots of transparency, so everyone can take advantage of a learning when you can see everything going on, as opposed to when you go into a closed room. Um, I think the notion of three schools being separate, but then coming together, that's really innovative. I really want sports for the next school. Yeah, I think school spirit is one. Um, Just more spaces to sit outside in like shaded areas like that. If we had more kids, I feel like it would be more fun. And like sports, like the homecoming and having all that activities, I think that would be better. Um, it was a long process. Um, this was a commercial building. Um, it was built in 1981. I think the last tenant in this building was Northrop Grumman. And we had to basically tear it all the way down to the structure and rebuild it because it's now a school building and it has a different code. So we put in all new steel braces, we've got all big concrete footings. Um, it took us about two years to get the plans done and approved. So it's a different building now. This is the first project that I've ever heard of that utilizes an existing office building to turn into a high school. So I think um, that's unique in and of itself. 
Um, but you've got a community like no other that I've seen. We've had 1,200 people, I think, here today to come support it. So there's an amazing support in this community. We didn't standardize it all. There's nothing that's just the same that we like built over and over again. You see that a lot in high schools. There's a classroom and then just repeat, repeat, repeat. So every floor, every classroom, every hub, every location has just got a unique configuration. Particularly the way you know we've organized classrooms around little neighborhoods and hubs and collaboration spaces and seminar rooms. That's not something you would normally see in a in a high school plan. Um, that makes it very unique. The fact that we're building it into an existing building and um, doing this whole retrofit makes it a very unique project also. I love the idea of the schools coming together. I love the idea of having exhibitions in one place. I love the idea of having that mix and diversity of creativity and ideas and disciplines. Um, you know, I think that the exposure of all of the different campuses or the exposure that students are going to get from wandering between the different campuses is going to be fantastic.